since way back. Got hoes since way back. You know, since way back. We flip bows since way back. We've been friends since way back. Made in since way back. How it's been since way back. Since back then. Can't change that. We've been Trailer for sure. Oh, did it go not on you? Yeah, there it goes. Or not. Huh. And now it won't let me unmute. What on earth? Come on, Discord. Don't act like this today. There we go. I don't know what the issue is with that. It wouldn't no, let me right. unmute you. <laughs> well, uh, no, I was just saying uh, that, uh, yeah, it looks good. Um, I'm interested in watching the rest. I've only seen about three episodes, but from watching that, it's really awesome so far. And I uh, like the action animation. It's pretty good. I love that they put in the original uh, Transformers morphing sound. Yeah, the original. Uh, in the 80s. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. That was pretty cool that they did that. Um, and then I don't know. I just really like it. It's I guess because uh, the reason why I like it is just because we never get to see the Transformers like really on their home planet too much of like shows and even movies wise. Yeah, they're, they're always, always they're with always us. on planet yeah. Earth or something like that. But we never actually see the war. Uh, you know, maybe in the Transformers movie they did that like back in the '80s, but that's about as close as we got to really seeing uh, that going on. So I was excited to see that kind of happening on their home planet, really. Um, um, and that just brings more cooler, different Transformers that they're going to hopefully uh, bring into the show I haven't seen just yet. Yeah, it definitely looks interesting. I mean, we'll see how soon they'll need to because they have a really big stock of Transformers to pick from oh, already. Sh yeah. And they can always just, they always just make more and more and more. Yep. I'm like, when did this guy come out? I'm like, well, we, they probably just made him up for this. Yeah, he's just <laughs> here for this. Um, even from the comics too like I, I've heard a lot of even different you know from them coming from there yeah um, IDW the just comics. rebooted their uh, Transformers line uh, about last year I think so to I think be fair, like they... on issue third no they're like on issue 20 something right now yeah to be fair Transformers comics have never really hit the heavy mark I mean the toys no, have I've, really been good yeah, but yeah, yeah. The... I've read I've read a couple of them and they're okay um, yeah I might end up just dropping them off I just wanted to read a couple they're fine I liked it but yeah they're fine it's just yeah, I've just it's, never been a huge Transformers person. That's even it. even beyond that, them. they they're fine. They just don't have any like standout stories or writers yeah. attached to them most of the time. Like, I, th I think I like more of the Beast Wars stuff. If they did that, they kind did of stuff. pretty good stuff there. There's yeah, stuff on it, but there's just you know, once again, it's it's like you have a billion Spider-Man stories and probably like. 10 really good ones you know what i mean like really yeah. really good spider-man stories that are like yeah this is a, you know what i mean a memorable spider-man mm -hmm. story and then you know you got like 60 years worth of like okay and sometimes less than okay spider-man yeah. stories and yeah. i feel like transformers has never really had those titles that were like transcended their their title right they don't have any no so so like for example right batman death in the family that's something that transcends batman titles like that's mm -hmm. just a good arc written by a good author done with good art like anybody could read yeah. that and you don't, really don't even have to have like a super high level of batman knowledge to mm -hmm. start it in order oh, to yeah. fully appreciate it he does a really good job and, and i think in that way a lot of the, you know and there's classics like secret wars and dc mm -hmm. obviously has a bunch uh they did kingdom come and these are just like good stories that like when people are like all right what what's a good comic arc or a good comic story i should read the killing joke right you know what i mean there's classics yeah there, there's just yeah. ones and even going into like all right the uh, spawn stuff right like my brother wants spawn 300 because it's got the whole connection to the new suit you know what i mean there's there are standout pretty ones. good have you been reading the new spawn stuff yeah there are i mean this it's a long ways from what it was back in the day not like oh, quality yeah, yeah, yeah. not quality oh wise but just just the way yeah, story, the story yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah but of I've course comics stuff too yeah but of course yeah. comics Wayne in the hope with the hobos and trying to protect the hobos of the street and yeah yeah it, that was like it, the it, first it, hundred issues of spawn that's like spawn and then like yeah. the second hundred issues of spawn he takes another uh, like a different approach and once again he's just evolving Farland's evolving uh, with the times, you know, do which you got to do. Yeah, with the character. Uh, but that being my point is like there are these standout titles, even among third party ones, where it's just like this is really great, and it doesn't matter if you're a fan of the actual title it's based on. I'm trying mm -hmm. to think of. Uh, 
more outside of like just Marvel and DC big stays, which is um, tough because see, there's Saga. Saga is probably one of those ones that people. I, I every time I go to the comic store, like uh, I was like, you know, what's one thing that you guys always recommend? Like I swear that is like one on the top ten list every time is Saga. Like, Saga does enough. good. Yeah. Uh, Watchmen I technically. It, and I love Saga. That. Yeah, it's a really good book. Uh, Monstrous is another one I've always heard is another one to get into. Um, I haven't finished. I've read like maybe five issues, but the art is amazing too on that and the story uh, they kind of bring some anime into like uh, anime like i guess or eastern tropes into the western kind of comics yeah and I mean, it, it's pretty cool so that's a good, a book pretty good well. one the other one i've been telling you to read that now has been blowing up like this past week is something killing the children yeah uh, i saw it even calling they... it the next walking dead um they do that a lot good. i like it you might like it too. <laughs> well, it's it's funny because they keep they call it like that, but there hasn't been a Walking Dead since The Walking Dead. It was a one time phenomena yeah. of a comic book going, and then it's no longer a phenomena. There's like a set president oh, for yeah. it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Kind of like the but, uh, the whole Marvel doing the first cinematic universe. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. There's not that you don't. There's not going to be another one of those. You're just doing a second version of something that someone's done. Mm -hmm. And that's not to say it couldn't be better. Even it's just not going to hit in the exact same style yeah, yeah. because different well, timings and stuff yeah yeah it's it's really good book though you should really check it out i, I love the story it's all awesome. there's already people talking about like in my the comic people like they're they talking about toys now they're um they're t i'm actually just purchased a, a scarf or like um because she wears like a bandana yeah you i saw the i saw you posted the link of it, so it looked I, interesting. I bought one of those those are pretty cool i was like i'm gonna buy one of those because <laughs> pretty cool with that um it's it's interesting i mean we we got got so we there's so much though he's you know hasn't really told so far in the story which i'm kind of glad i'm glad you know he's just kind of just well i was gonna to ask about that character i was gonna ask about pacing because that's something that a lot of indie comics are not very good at i think he's doing good i think it's, yeah, it's good pacing cause there, even he's, he's giving you like just enough to just satisfy you but just not enough you know not yeah because even stuff like uh even stuff i really enjoy right like uh Redneck was a good example of that one, uh, which that it has one was good, but it's not paced in a way that it can last a long time. It's not a long uh, self standard. He, I don't think, yeah, he has it going for a long. I, I feel like he's got, yeah, like a set plan, to like right. end this book, and then which yeah, that one for sure, yeah, I could tell. Whereas um, different I, ones have more open ended. Once again, Walking mm -hmm. Dead was very much a like I'll stop when I stop writing. Yeah, and just even as an he's, example. He, even he's like, I kind, I kind of wish I yeah, didn't stop. Right, because you open <laughs> the problem with ending a story is then it's done, right? There's no more yeah. story, and we all know that stories don't end, right? Like that's not how actual <laughs> like, like the Negan lives thing. He's like, ah, I'll just slip that in, guys. Which do which you have lives. to do. I mean, that's basically Boruto in a nutshell. In a nutshell, it's like, oh, I ended Naruto, but and obviously it's not the actual Let's author of naruto doing, though. <laughs> yeah it's like how's this and it's funny i uh, doing the whole one piece thing right there there's lots of speculation they're like oh we're approaching the end and yes we're approaching the end in the fact that it's a 20 year series and we only have five years left so we're approaching the end you know what i mean yeah. but it's they're just like oh he's gonna finish it i'm like all right if you will get Has context he confirmed that, like he's done like after this five years oh like, fuck no he is not confirmed oh, shit. he said so. every time he says he says i want to be done in this time he, he never going. says I'm gonna be done. He always says this is what I w originally One Piece is only supposed to last five years. <laughs> the story is huge. The people always tell me like just just skip the first, you know. Which I don't. I've never told anyone that. I was like, I think it's, <laughs> that's why I've always. Everyone's said always like it gets it's all it gets good at this. It's like no, that's not how One Piece works. One Piece is basically a standard shonen at the start, comparable mm -hmm. to almost any '90s shonen, except for maybe Dragon Ball Z, which was the gold standard at the time. <laughs> but of any show released around the same time, it had comparable values, storytelling, pacing, etc. The thing is, One Piece just continuously gets better over 900 chapters mm -hmm. to the point that people are citing the current arc as their favorite arc in a lot of cases. Uh, okay, yeah. With sense. Which, once again, with a, and not everybody. Obviously, everyone has a different take on any subject matter. Yeah. But to have the newest arc of a 20-year trilogy not end up like George R.R. R. Martin's fucking... <laughs> You know what I mean? Not ending up like the last. Still not done. <laughs> that's that's kind of my point. To either not finish, or in the case of the show, finish it and people not be happy right, with it. Right. Which. Oh my gosh. Which I, was know, it? Yeah. 
I watched that last episode. I've never watched any of the Game of Thrones. <laughs> I, I literally watched that last episode, and I was like, wow. I am so glad I did not invest my because that was... You know, the fucked up part is, like... That was the bad ending, and oh, I didn't man. even watch the whole thing, and I could just tell that was Dude, bad. and I, I haven't even started on the last season, because, like, one, I don't... I never watch it before I read it, so I still haven't seen The Hunger Games. I still haven't seen Artemis Fowl. I, will, either, I yeah. will not watch something that I know... Anymore, I did it once or twice with Lemony Snicket, but I don't do it anymore. That I know is based on a title I haven't read yet, because I feel like I'm not getting a full appreciation for the uh, the transition it had to make from a book mm -hmm. to a movie. Now, granted, once again, that can sometimes color it negatively. Once yeah. again, my yeah, because yeah, sometimes you're like, why did I miss that? That why? That? But then it's like it's, it is hard to you know get a big old book depending on how many pages that book is it is hard to get that much material oh for sure to the depending how long they yeah, want to do you're it. you're always it's cutting even, material down hours. it's mostly just the two they can do unless you're unless avengers <laughs> or avengers <laughs> avengers can do or three avengers. hours <laughs> Avatar, no. Uh, yeah, I guess it's a new standard too, as well. <laughs> Even then, it didn't. The three hours. Uh, it did, and but it only. Like, I feel like they did that too long. I, I swear they should not have done the three. I was happy when they said three hours. I was like, oh, cool. No, they but it was, so too much 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 two, it was too one, much. Two was too much. One was perfect at long. two and a half because one was like two and a half hours the first day. Yeah. Uh, and it was perfect. I didn't feel like I was in there for two and a half hours. I didn't feel like it was stretched or like, you know, my I, legs I, died. I fell, fell asleep almost through like the house. Three hours yeah. is tough, bro. Uh, yeah, Three yeah, hours yeah. is bordering on giving people a intermission. You know what I mean? To like go yeah. piss and, you know, all the, <laughs> all the, sh the stuff you need to do. Because realistically, yeah, like. Uh, after three or four hours, you're in Kevin Costner fields of, you know, air yeah, <laughs> length, yeah. and, and and those are, I mean, like I said, the last ones who really got to do stuff like that would be like Star Wars and Lord of the Rings, and even they don't quite bridge usually the three hour gap unless you go director's cut and stuff and go the full six hour movie. Oh, uh, oh yeah, right. <laughs> the way they want the way it was intended to be. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's 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 more factual. No, but I definitely get it. And and once again, not saying that everyone should do that is just something I do to like get more of the appreciation for the skill it does take yeah. to transform a book into a good film adaption. I mean, it's not an easy thing. Or we've talked about the difference between book and manga to like anime or TV between film and stuff, and how the different yeah. mediums require different styles yeah. you know what i mean you yeah, yeah. want television everyone's always hates it right i call them it's literally to the point in these ones for anime they're very good at it that at the end of reaction videos when they do comps you can time it where they're all going to yell together because the end screen has popped up the to be continued cliffhanger that television is necessary to have right in television yeah. you want them to come back next week so you have to leave it on the edge and like, even those are now kind of going out the phase, you know. Now nowadays it's just like just binge it all, just binge uh, it all. It is for <laughs> it is once again for Netflix releases, but a lot of stuff yeah. still releases still week some, by yeah, there's week. There's still a couple things out there, yeah. Walking Dead, yeah. There's, there's, Anything there's, on television, you know? man. Television is not yet dead. It's 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 been yeah, able to hold it's itself up. <laughs> well, some time it left. basically integrated itself with streaming We're, so that it's yeah, that's why i've noticed you know with xfinity well because once know, again i netflix who yeah is on xfinity that, now and it's all packaged in 100 percent that you can't eat like i can't even get just internet at the level i want without oh, no, having no, no, it packed no, nowadays, with television yeah, nowadays you're like that's how they get you is that they say well if you take this off your bill is actually going to go up this much higher yeah like, it's oh like, my uh, gosh, really? i don't even want your <laughs> television service because once again i haven't watched tv tv even right we talk about Xfinity members. We get HBO Max for free. I still haven't used it because I don't haven't? use my mm, tell. I don't watch yeah. television like that. I watch it like yeah, Netflix. Yeah. I put all of it on and I binge it. And not to say I couldn't do that on HBO Max. I'm just indicating how not if it's not integrated directly into my computer interface. I'm not pulling off to my Xfinity screen to do it. Like, I want to be able to have it on one screen here and then one screen here. I'm working on some <laughs> shit. Well, hey. yeah, you have to check out some of the stuff that's coming out with HBO. Yeah, they got that, I guess, that deal with Cartoon Network, and they got a couple of things coming out for sure. Um, that Infinity Train is coming up Infinity there, Train. Summer Camp Island. 
Uh, Dear Lord, these all sound like from the gen after us that are getting well, their Infinity team. Train was actually pretty good. I actually did enjoy that one. That one has a really good story driven um, story for it, basically going for it. It's, uh, how do I explain it? Um, this. Well, I guess they, what's cool about it is that they, they're they doing three – this is the third season they've done already with it. And each season's not like the same person. It's like a different person that goes on to the Infinity Train. And so, like, the first season was this, this girl who kind of wanted to go to uh, computer camp and learn coding. And uh, something goes wrong, and she can't go now. And she gets angry, and then she go, goes on to this, this train that randomly just kind of comes out of nowhere. And so she hops on it. And she ends up with like this uh, number on her hand, and uh, so it kind of goes up and down for things that she does on, on that train. And so she has to kind of do the morally right thing on the train to kind of get her number down until eventually she can get off the train. And then she meets all these crazy, like kind of wacky characters along the way on the train. And each train car is like a different, like weird world that she goes into. So um, it, it's it's different. I like it. It's uh, pretty interesting um a little dark at times but it is kind of more for like the older kind of preteen kids i think more of who they're going for but the, uh, the problem is the with those cool. shows is they never last even the greatest of the preteen targeted shows die because they're targeted at a group that does not go with the economics that it's it itself is set in and my biggest example is always teen titans because it's a kid thing with adult serious tones, right? It's it's kind of like you said for preteens, but preteens are broke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the simple truth is like you're at an age in a preteen where usually your parents aren't buying you stuff, like toys oh, yeah. at least. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? You're 17, they're like, oh, I want this figure. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. the, and no offense, not, nor am I saying this should be the standard or whatever, but that's just like how it is often deemed. And so kids, usually from the ages of 12, pre, right? Pre-teens, mm -hmm. uh, are, I feel like, the biggest market for like any sort of like animated show that is not adult targeted, right? Like, mm -hmm. future, like Futurama or Family Guy or something. And then we've talked about how, and granted, maybe not so much nowadays, but from those animated shows, the, the old draw used to be toys and merchandise sales. Yeah, and even that, though, is uh, you can't really go by that no more because the to now these toy companies, when they do make like the higher up companies now, like NECA, um, Scott Collectible, not Scott Collectibles, um, okay, for Storm Collectibles, um with some high fi toys um all those guys they now they focus on like the old, older group of people now that, because that's and, they sell to now and that's what i was going to say about some of the uh some of the stuff coming out on from the cartoon network stuff which I was wondering is how much of it would be aimed at adults and how much it would be aimed at kids because i feel you like know, a I lot of it'll be a mixed bag pretty good the job i mean like i said because me and isaiah we've been watching infinity train i enjoy it and he seems to enjoy it too like now that I show them the new trailer, he's like, "Oh yes, new tra uh, new trailer for nice. Infinity Train." So, I mean, he likes it. There's, a th I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just the generation of these kids now. <laughs> like, different. who knows? And once again, um, it, the bigger bigger issue being like how the show makes money and continues on to its second yeah, season. Exactly. Yeah. Because that's all. Um, all unfortunately, as much as we may enjoy shows, that's how they I think get that's renewed. That's why they're going to the HBO kind of way, though, because. That way they can kind of focus more of like their hardcore, like, you know, gumball, um, total drama, drama. Yeah, because that's what I was saying is they did that one as part of the, that's what that total island thing you said sounded yeah, and like. They, and he likes that show. My son loves It wasn't that like it was one. bad. It's just a generation after me and you know, it's a little just like, like, yeah, they're just, I'm just like. Something that's been. You know, we've once again, they did not just that. Yeah, they've done like four shows of them where I'm like, all right, I'm I'm tired of these characters and I they're not the plotting season, anything. And then I was done after the other right one. total like, total drama <laughs> island, and then it was like total drama classroom and total drama cafeteria and total drama 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 total. And I was like, nah, like that sounds like the Fate Zero series, and why I didn't go towards that. Like, it's yeah, like I don't so, need to I mean, watch a series in three different time directions. So I think they're more focusing like on their more like really kid orientated shows on that one and then they're gonna put more of their like maybe i guess i don't know we'll see how it all works out i mean because it's it's on the streaming service and, but then they need things like that you know on that streaming service to make people come to their that's their absolutely service, true like something different they're gonna um, need 
something different, but they also need something that's you need big draws, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, at least that for the kids, and then now you got to bring some of the other things. Like, I mean, they, I know they have Looney Tunes on there now that they brought out. Um, they have that new Lovecraft. Um, I keep forgetting the full title, but that Lovecraft story that's coming out too. Which are HBO. which are good. Um, I meant more in in the fact that they'll need individual titles, but they'll need big pulls of current titles that are already out. So, like for oh. example, Netflix pulling in Avatar: The Last Airbender. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and and. They'll have some. They'll have stuff like that pulled in from under the HBO and Warner Brothers umbrella. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't doubt they'll have something big. You know, I mean, HBO has been they've you know been around for a while, and they've always been one of my favorite networks around. I, I, that's why I watched some like really old school anime was from HBO back really? in the day when I they didn't even know they fun. showed anime. Oh my gosh, yeah, bro, they showed anime like late at night, um, and that was that's where I found a bunch of like old school stuff that like uh, you know I probably would have never found if it wasn't for that. Um, so, I mean, we'll, we'll see how they do. I mean, they, they, we'll see how, like I said, a DC, you know, didn't do so good with their shit. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, HBO Max is the proof that DC is, is done. I mean, DC streaming services, unless you're there for the comics, they're losing yeah, they're, a lot of their shows. Sure. They're finished. I mean, and if I hate it because you just know the DC stands are going to defend the shit out of this somehow. They're gonna come out of the woodworks and I mean, just if be they like, just do it like Marvel Unlimited. Just end up more making it focus as a comic, comic right. related it's app. It's not and that then hard. You won't be, you know, you won't. I don't think you would get no bad from it. You know, you'd be making fans happy because they'd be like, oh crap, now we can actually read all your book. Well, not all of your books, but about almost all your books now instead of reading this this month and then you guys take it away dude then that was what i month. i heard they pulled books off and as soon as i heard yeah. that i yeah, was like no that. no need for a subscription there because i it didn't even no i i didn't even keep marvel unlimited and they consistently added books and never pulled books off as far as to yeah. my knowledge i never uh, there i was always able to go back and get the book that i had seen before <laughs> now maybe they've since done that but like and i understand like unlimited storage impossible but and prices etc yeah, yeah. i understand the technical aspects of it but god damn it the service aspects require that you keep the shit on there that's why netflix is always getting issues with people because they don't own the titles so they can't keep and then them people get mad it's like once well, again i they only I based, a license i honestly for a while. if if umbrella academy wasn't on and we were having this discussion i'd go cancel my netflix right now because i don't use it other people uh, use my Netflix more than I do because uh, they have taken away all the titles I went on there to watch. Granted, they brought some uh, of them back. They finally brought back like Spaceballs, but they I took was watching Spaceballs either. right, which was one of the reasons I originally picked up Netflix. It had like Spaceballs, it had Futurama, it had a bunch of old shows that you couldn't really find anywhere else and were not being broad broadcast on television at that time. Yeah, Goosebumps. Uh, Goosebumps. They had a bunch. You can't, I mean, find, you can't find Goosebumps anywhere else but on Netflix. Yeah. I remember. I remember when I wanted to watch some Goose. Like, cause I think maybe this might have been a few years back, and I before Netflix got really big, and I wanted to watch some Goosebumps, and I could not find no Goosebumps Nothing, anywhere. Bro. They had like maybe a few like actual uh, releases that came out like on DVD or I don't even need DVD. Maybe it was VHS. I can't remember. It was, it was probably VHS. Yeah. Anyways, um, they had only a few that came out and it wasn't their whole season. They they didn't actually do like a, a full complete season of their Goosebumps show and I was like really? And then finally like Netflix one day just said, hey guys, we got them all. I'm like, what? You have them all, <laughs> and yeah. So sure enough, they have. They still have them. I mean, that's a pretty cool thing. At least, yeah. They have there's. I mean, they have some titles. The problem is they'll get titles and and either yeah, get rid of them or go away. Yeah. yeah, which nobody really wants to to not be able to get to a title they like. You know what I mean? Yeah. So well, let's see. The only thing I've been watching on Netflix was the Umbrella Academy. And have you been watching that yet? No, I gotta. I gotta start the new season. It's cool. I like it. It was. It was different. It was different. I love it. It was a uh, you know a whole different timeline. Once again, it was gonna be yeah. They're gonna do crazy shit because once again, there is no content continuity in the original no, Umbrella that's timeline. That's what I like it's about like... it. It's it's pretty cool. It's different. It's out the box, and it's just kind of like. And they do time travel pretty. I mean, you can never do perfect, anyways. I mean, there's always gonna be something like 
like, hey, that doesn't kind of make sense, but okay, I'll go with it. <laughs> it's like, how does that work? What? Um, but uh, they do a pretty good job, I think, of uh, with the time travel because uh, there's a lot of time travel in the second season, that's for sure. Uh, one person lands in 1960, one person lands in 1961, one person lands in 1962, and another person lands in 1960. So they're all like spread it out through all these which, years. And which always makes sense until you once again think about the concept that unless they time travel again, they will also be there in 19 or die. They'll also be there in 1961 if they were there in 1960. Not in that specific they place. They kind of do a scene like that with one. You'll you'll see. You just have to watch. I don't want to explain too much. But that, well, once again, that's cool. depending on was, timelines. Oh, it was wait, pretty wait, pretty good though. Um, not bad. Not bad. Second season. Um, but I mean, I think that was really it for Netflix so far. That was they really have right. not had a bunch coming um, out. Oh, um, I did watch that other one. It was Warrior Nun, which wasn't too bad either. I think the you end, told me the about ending that one. of the season kind of got well, but beginning was good. I love the beginning, but then the ending could have been a little bit better, I think. But I, I liked it still. It was good for what it was. A enjoyable little watch. Um, I think that was really all that I've seen on Netflix here. I can't think of anything else. I know that. Um, Let's see here. I guess I'll just have to go through a few of the things here before we get off then. Uh, so we did talk about Transformers. We know Demon Slayer is coming out with their um, movie um, here soon, which is actually I don't even think supposed to be coming out till next year. Boo! <laughs> but um, still, quite the way for that to come out. So we'll have to wait for that. I'm just waiting um, for it to catch up now. <laughs> Cause now right. we're at we're it finished a while back. And it was, is not, okay. Yeah, it's is finished. It a, is it a story that's gonna finish pretty quick? It's not gonna be in a long. Mm, if I had to, so like it's tough always because some of them uh, adapt at different rates. Like One Piece, because of how long it's been out and how it week to weeks, it's basically mm -hmm. adapted at the same rate as the comic comes out. You know what I mean? It's okay. not. It's a one to one. Okay. Once you get to later chapters, Demon Slayer and them don't always do that. They sometimes, especially because they've had more stuff to stock up ahead of time, just just they started their run later, you know what I mean, as an anime. And they'll do two or three chapters to an episode, or they'll, like, skip entire things, you know, random shit like that. But going by, like, the uh, episode count versus chapter count, then you get a good 100, 200 episodes in, maybe. Okay. Depending. Once again, I gotta watch and remember how the anime paces it, because I don't remember how the anime is pacing it. For instance, Black Clover uh, paced way faster than the manga releases. It's on like episode 170, but it's as far as chapter two yeah. something. Yeah. And they're well, caught like up. On episode, I think 113, they're, 14 or something like that. They're right either now. caught up or they're almost caught up. And once and we're again, right where they just went to the Heart Kingdom now. Yeah, so you're you're maybe a couple months behind. Okay, maybe oh, wow. they're not that far then. No, not at all, dude. Once again, they, you guys just beat the devil or whatever right from the original yeah, run. Yep, so yep, yep. yeah, they just did that. You, they did that less than twenty chapters ago. Did you see Julian again yet? Yeah, we seen him when he was a kid. Yeah, yeah. No, so Julian's kid, back. back. Yeah. Alive. So once again, that was not that long ago. I had recently recaught up because I'll give him time. Where I'll mm -hmm. so like solo leveling, I'm doing that right now because I caught up when it was at like chapter 50 or 60, and I started it. I started it originally at chapter like 20, I think. Okay. Which is a it's a super fun one. People keep mixing it up with uh, fucking another manga that's it's not solo leveling. It's uh, I am. Is it solo leveler there's a, there's another one that is very similar title kind of and nearly similar concept but is totally different art style and story concept it, it's it's interesting and i'll okay find it eventually once again and once again there's tons of ones that i because i read them as manga and don't wait for them to become anime like mm. i know which ones are going to be good except for the ones that start as anime like the misfit of the or not the misfit of the demon king but like overlord and slime desu mm -hmm. those went from novel to anime to manga as opposed to okay. novel to manga to anime <laughs> arm movements but like there's always new ones i forget the uh, that one, I keep telling people that it hopefully will get one. 
but is it a level 1000 villager? Manga level 1000 villager, I think it is. <laughs> yeah, level uh, level 999 uh, Morabito, which is level 999 villager. <laughs> it's an interesting little concept one. It's very similar, I'd say, maybe not to Sword Online in the sense of like worldscape, but in the sense of like it's a game world. Not like okay. a game world is they've come from the real world to the game world, mm -hmm. but that it's a world that is very much game like. You know what I mean? It's hmm. stats, born with stuff like that. Uh, I mean, Fire Punch, which will probably never get... Well, I say that, and then they start getting them. Like, I said Dr. Stone might never get one, and it got an anime. No, that one got one. That, one, that one's... I oh, love that show. It's a great one. I love the science. Like, it's one of I the... Just, yeah, it's different. It's, you know, you don't see animes like that. I love the concept. I mean, you yeah, do. It's, it's just they don't usually get anime. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I just... You don't see these anime. Or, or sorry. No, they don't get English anime. There's yeah, okay. tons of slice of life in science. Yeah, yeah, with Crunchyroll show. And all the yeah I, yeah there's a there's a lot of titles of that <laughs> i've seen that i like wow that's a weird end like there's this one where i think it's just called the boy who does nothing and yeah there's a few different weird ones where he like just does like a bunch of like stuff in class and the girls watching him while he does like all these weird like amazing things while they're in class and she's just like whoa wow because <laughs> he just does these like like ridiculous things you're like wow bro and he's like building a house of cards or something like made out of the the statue of liberty or something like he just does yeah it's it's crazy See, i like those kind of shows too those are funny and there's a lot once again it's they're not popular american wise right like america is super shown in it's like screaming oh, yelling and yeah, fighting yeah, and yeah. killing or else nothing so slice, did, like, of like that, yeah. Yeah, so slice of life yeah so slice of life ones don't make it over to america but there's tons of good like really fun cultural ones right like that that are more about like that one's about science even though it's got its own story it's about teaching you the culture and the process of science uh, another good example is golden kamui but it's a mix of shonen and slice of life in that it uses shonen to depict the slice of life of the japanese natives uh i forget what their actual moniker is the akai something but it's it really is what the manga is about it's not about the story in the background of this whole gold bullshit it spends a vast majority of the manga teaching you about the culture of these people and their history and a, and a wide variety of things in the context of a story uh shit there's a couple different ones i'm trying to remember ones that i've read recently uh and of course just regular slice of life ones are always fun but they uh, they usually don't last that long. No, no, it's usually for a, one season or two. Another one I used to like was uh, School of Rumble. I knew a lot of people. Were School of Rumble is actually Rumble. a huge. That one's also slice wise cinema, but that one's long actually. It just didn't get yeah, wanna, huge. How long did that go for? I, I don't know how much it made in America. Seasons? Yeah, I don't know how much it made in America the anime, but it's like a two or three hundred page manga, easy. Nice, nice. I used to love that show. That it's show a awesome. really good one. Uh, and it technically has it, two. It was just cool because it was like again, it wasn't like a show about like power levels. But then they like they did funny things. Right, they did like, fighting like, stuff. It just was that wasn't what it was about. It framed them into the uh, the situation of being like a school and yeah. like this weird stuff and then had a bunch of slice of life weirdness go on in the back which yeah. is great i love comedy it's really reminiscent of like shin chan right shin chan's another big one oh, where it's i love shin chan <laughs> although that one's more about like comedy and less about slice of life yeah <laughs> that right, you know that's ridiculous. i've shown people maybe like, it didn't have that much I've, I've oh, that's cool about shin chan and like what's shin chan like anime, anime people are, that's like, funny watching, like you've never heard about shin chan they're if like, they haven't heard about shin chan and they're not anime people no i'm, I'm no gay <laughs> Go to them and they're like, oh, what is that? <laughs> what the? Yeah. Shin Chan's perfect though. I love it. So it apparently Rumble had, oh yeah, almost 300 chapters. Okay. And I'm not sure on anime count. I'm guessing. I think it's usually like probably, I don't know if they finished it. Seasons. I don't no, know. I, I think it left off on the kind of a cliffhanger from what I remember. I think. Let's see, School Rumble anime. 
it's been so long since I actually read it that it would be tough for me to remember the ending. Yeah, um, the anime, yeah, I watched. And the thing is, it's that not was like, like high school when that came out. <laughs> oh, dude, that's it's old. Fall two thousand four. So yeah, yep. just a, just uh, actually okay. probably even before. Yeah, just a little little in the middle. But yeah, it's <laughs> Tenma. Yep. Yeah. Once again, it's one that I couldn't even have probably told you the whole story again because it's been years, and it's not like it's an epic. It's all a, all, it's all a... I know is that there's this one dude who loves this girl, and that's probably <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much the love, story. <laughs> if I for her love through the whole thing. And then I think they did do a little sequel at some point. But yeah, I mean, once again, they're they're out there. It's just they're not. They're yeah, not set here. Well, all right. So it's like me trying to explain. There was a post going around earlier where people are like, "There is no scene more iconic than Goku going Super Saiyan in uh, Dragon Ball Z for anime." And technically, yeah, they're right. There is no more iconic scene if you go by that's what iconic. Cool scene. And once again, it's not even about how cool it is. <laughs> it goes for like four minutes. <laughs> That, it also helps that they says this is the most iconic moment in anime. Well, when you stream together like three episodes, then yeah, it gets it's got an, an advantage, a distinct advantage. But no, but even beyond that, right? That's not saying it's better than any of these other things. What iconic means is to be an icon, right? To be the symbol of something. And Goku, for the vast majority of America, Dragon Ball Z, for the very longest time, was the icon for anime. Mm-hmm. And even in Japan, it's an icon for anime. I mean, yeah, it's it's just Japan. not the icon for anime in Japan or worldwide. Whereas in America, Dragon Ball Z is the iconic anime. I mean, that's the one that started stuff over here. You, you know, Fist of the North Star was good, but it didn't hit the popularity level that it needed to be iconic. Yeah, yeah. I think Toonami helped a lot too. You know. I oh, absolutely. So yeah. Um, there was uh, Ronin Warriors. You remember Ronin Warriors? It was pretty. Where it was kind of like they were like Power Rangers, but they were samurais or Ron- Ronins. Ronins. That was cool. Um, I mean, they had tons. Yu Yu Hakusho was another one that. Oh my gosh, was a good show. Well, do you remember watching Monster Rancher? Yeah, it was. That one's I not got into very that one. great. It wasn't that one. I don't think is. Uh, I don't think. Is, is I don't that, think I got into it because it kind of felt like it was trying to piggyback off of the Pokemon that's, that was it, it absolutely on was. I gotta check this, What's but the one with the big giant yellow. No, I I remember uh, what it was. I was trying to remember if it was originally made in Japan and translated, or if we made Monster Rancher. Uh, I think it was Japanese, and I'm I'm pretty sure it was. It was. It didn't get a long run. But yeah, I do remember no. I do remember that one. It was very and back then a long run was you know, our short run was fifty episodes, so I guess you could say Pokemon was another one that I think really pushed it to for the limit for a lot of us kids. I will anime. say, but I don't think it was classified in the same style. It was classified as kid stuff. As yeah, opposed yeah, yeah. to where Dragon Ball Z was not exclusively just for kids. Yeah, because, yeah, the, that's what... Once yeah, again, you would show Tonami... Right, and that was the difference between, like, Pokemon... And once again, I would I would say that Pokemon is as iconic as Dragon Ball Z, but there's no scene in Pokemon that's as iconic as Goku going Super Saiyan. Yeah. Someone even put Ash winning his first tournament. I was like, no one gave up by that point. It was 10 seasons I, in, was like, and nobody yeah, cared. Wrong. Nobody, it's like... a big deal, but... I but nobody like, cared. Yeah, but it took too long, though. And it's not going to matter next season. He's still going to be going after the different tournament, and he's going to get yeah, all new oh, pet champions, and Pikachu's going to get his ass Did kicked again. One? I haven't watched a new season it's on, since... It's on Pete. Netflix. It's called... Me and Isaiah watched this. It's called Pokemon Advent. Adventures. Oh, it's yeah. The new, it's the new one on Netflix. It's on I'm Netflix just, now. It's exclusive to them. I mean, I don't know if that's... I, that's cool, but I don't know anybody who's who's watching it. Like, I'm sure some kids are in the thing, and it must oh, get yeah. numbers, or else it wouldn't continue going with new hey, Pokemon yeah. series. But yeah, we were, we were watching it. I know some big Pokemon heads that were like, "Yeah, I'm down for some Pokemon Adventures." <laughs> See, and like all my Pokemon heads are just like, "I hate this new wave of bullshit." Like they've been playing I, for 30 years, and they're like, "It just they never get anywhere or do anything." And even beyond that, they, it feels like a lot of it has been toned down, at least game-wise, maybe not necessarily anime-wise. 
but the game has been toned down to such a point that it's not even a challenge in most cases. I didn't, yeah, I wasn't too much of a fan of the sword and shield. Um, it even did before, feel a little too easy X to and, me on the, the other ones I were, played after a while. Yeah, yeah, I only bought the new one because it was on Switch, and I was like, oh, cool, this is a Pokemon game for yep. the actual console. So I was also not That's happy about 3D. I, I miss my 2D. Top down. See, I didn't, yeah, I didn't see. I didn't play any. The only ones I probably stopped on was actually <laughs> I probably stopped on Silver, and that was about it. I never played any. Of and the that's Pokemon and that's my whole that. thing is like I feel like they've gotten around on it, and I don't know how because I don't like I know people who buy the games, but I don't know people who older people who you who enjoy Pokemon now who still watch all the anime when they come out and all the series when they yeah. come out. Like half yeah. the time, I don't Unless even hear have, about. I, mean, I guess if you have a kid, and then I guess that kind of gives the excuse, like I'm kids like, I guess do. Watch Pokemon yeah. now. <laughs> and maybe that's what it is. Is maybe the kids are actually watching it nowadays, and that's the big. That reminds me, I have to read the new chapter. Of, yeah. Of stuff. So, yeah, there was. I forgot. Yeah, Pokemon Adventures came out. I totally oh, forgot about. It. Yeah, there's a couple of shows that I, I remember that are on Netflix that we watched. Uh, Kipo was another one that yep. me and Isaiah yep. liked too. Uh, I, yeah, I've been really liking Kipo. I love the soundtrack in Kipo. Um, it's really awesome. I love the uh, not even the soundtrack. It's just it's their own beats that they make for the for the show. It's just really awesome. It has like this hip hop kind of flair to it, and uh, nice. the characters are pretty cool. I think you like that one. That one for sure. Um, they're like I said, they have been trying to do more like adventure kind of shows now lately instead of doing the you know wacky kind of just gumball teen titans or clarence or uncle grandpa yeah they just shows. had a long time where they had these shows that had no overarching story whatsoever and i was like yeah and i could even appreciate some of them like i didn't have a problem with gumball or adventure yeah, no, time no, i appreciate some of it. it's just it's just you know we don't have there's no state story yeah. driven kind of cartoon shows anymore and there is a few now coming out like uh, these ones you should keep a watch out for like owl house is one for disney that's came out um amphibia is on disney as well that is another pretty good one that me and my son watch um uh, for netflix kipo um they have troll hunters which is actually supposed to be coming back here soon um guillermo de Tarl is the one that came up with that whole kind of story hmm. and he's come up with his own like spin-offs like the tales of arcadia for netflix they're all really good i like his uh, stories for that um let's see i know infinity train was another one i was telling you about for uh, cartoon networks kind of coming out with that one um i feel like there's a quite a f just a few other ones but those are the ones i can kind of think off the top of my head they're a little bit more kind of giving themselves a little bit more story to them instead of just being like a show that just has no sense to it i mean i know gumball tries to do a couple like two to three episodes or they connect but then that's it they just do two episodes and then right that's, it's that's pretty much it <laughs> there's no there's no it's all filler you know what i mean and that's not to be like mean to it but it's it's filler in the sense that there's nothing that happens matters right it's kind of like yeah i'm trying to think uh like and a family guy right it's like it doesn't matter i can shoot you on the head and next week we'll be here on the couch and <laughs> you know what i mean it doesn't matter like and when there's no stakes it's really hard to get invested in a character yeah i feel yeah. like the more stakes a character has and the realer they feel in that way the easier it is to become attached to them to want to you know mm -hmm. do more with them or see more from yeah. them yeah yeah and these characters, for sure, like I said, these shows I'm talking about, I feel that kind of connection, you know, with them, a few of them. So, I, I, yeah, I kind of have hope for a few little shows here and like that. Like, so, yeah, keep a watch out for those ones. Yeah. See if you want to check them out whenever you can. But uh, they're really, I like them. They're enjoyable. But I do see we're kind of at the 825 mark. So, I don't know. Yeah, if it might be about that there. time. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else we want to like cover um, I know while we're... that disney plus is coming out with their uh phineas and ferb movie i don't know when that's supposed to come out see be soon phineas and ferb being one of the few exceptions that does do that and i don't mind it that it has no overarching plot but i really yeah. don't mind it in phineas and ferb for whatever and i always liked phineas I, and not for phineas and ferb i always liked it for dr uh what was dude for schmertz yeah he was yes, great I him and perry that, the platypus were my shit that was him. and i, I the, the only was joke i really cared about from the kids was where they'd always be like aren't you a little bit too young to be a mechanical engineer yes yes i am 
It's just like that was the only joke I really fucked with with the kids, and then the rest of them. And it's me, Doctor Doof or Doctor Doofenshmirtz, with my pay my taxes in Ator or some shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, Ator. Oh like, everything is a Ator. And then he'd have his sad, tragic backstory every episode. Like once again, it hit. Somehow it hit those things, and I think the things that made Phineas and Ferb. I was saying we're talking about this as the last piece. That's hilarious. But that made Phineas and Ferb so bearable when it does do something like that is the amount of attention that goes into each episode with individual song choreography, story interaction, oh, yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And the overall concepts of like, one, go out and not waste your summer, but like go out and do whatever you can do, really pushed it so that each episode didn't feel the same, even though it was essentially yeah. the same episode every episode. I think that's why I like Craig of the Creek too. I don't know if you've seen heard of that show too. I've heard Network. of it, but I haven't checked it it's out. It's pretty yet. cool. It's 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 a cool show for the kids because it really it's not a show about like the kids playing inside all day. It's literally about all these kids who go into their like neighborhood. They have like a big giant creek in their neighborhood, and all the kids go here and they play in the creek and they do like all these like fun adventures. Like one episode is like, oh, the floor is lava, and the kids are out playing like it's lava. And um, one's like uh, playing where they do. Um, like uh, jinx you know you can't talk and this late this one girl couldn't talk for like a whole year because she got jinxed or something like that and they they and then there's like a craig has a map for like the whole uh creek and so he draws out the whole map and there's like the ninja people who all read manga and anime <laughs> and then there's the the other kids who pretend they're horses so they like they they pretend they're jumping stuff like they're horses all the time and then there's the kids who are like the boy scouts kind of people and then there's the older kind of preteen kids who play dungeons and dragons dragons underneath a big old giant rock <laughs> and uh it, it's really cool like i said it, it's really awesome you got all these different kids and the, it's just about them playing outside pretty much the whole time and them trying to really get them to see that they need you know a lot of imagination pretty much going into it um so it's it's a cool different show i think that's uh i always try to show my son is my son that and be like look see look they're having fun doing this and that, and that. why can't you go do that and pretend this that go outside <laughs> get outside no i get so, it that's that's funny well i think with that we've covered yeah, a pretty good there, amount yeah. yeah and we once again we've there's there's other stuff to talk about but not too much we've covered a good deal we didn't do comics this week but i feel like we've done comics no, for a couple weeks so not too much we needed though. to we needed to we needed to do an episode on TV shows and stuff and kids stuff that we've we've been ignoring lately. Probably have to do we did a video game episode a couple couple times ago I think so. You know, yeah, we could do one maybe next weekend. Something like that. But we'll with, with that said, thank you everybody who did come by and join by. And if not, thank you for the people watching on the YouTube. As always, we appreciate you. And we'll see you next time on Comic Convos. Whenever that might be. We've been bros since way back. 